A relief truck arrived to help clean up the debris left behind in Bertie County today. Ten on your side's Jason Marks continues our team coverage with more on how a church is leading the way. Here in Ascoville, Bethel Assembly of God, relief efforts are underway. You can see they started collecting clothes. Other items over here on the table that would help a family get back on the feet. Pastor says it's something small, but it's something that will go a very long way. It's an assembly line of relief at the Assembly of God. Neighbors loving thy neighbors. Communities all just jumped in, all the area churches and community and foods coming in, water. After the storm, only Askewville Bethel had power. At that moment, they knew there was only one option. We decided, well, hey, we've got cooking facilities. Let's cook. The kitchen hasn't stopped since. We fed them breakfast this morning, we're feeding lunch, and then dental tonight. Churning out meal after meal, trying to forget the devastation that surrounds them. Oh, my heart just melted. <laughs> my heart melted. Um, homes just leveled. Outside the church, tables of much needed items are quickly filling up. Here in a small community like this, it's like everybody's family. And um, when one part hurts, we all hurt. Helping the healing is disaster relief organization Samaritan's Purse, which pulled into town last night. When they heard about the uh, disaster over here, they sent a crew over and they um, will assess the situation, get volunteers coming in, they have on their own equipment. Together, even in the face of overwhelming circumstances, they plan to rebuild. It's something like, I don't know where to start, but you, 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 whatever your hand finds to do, you do it. And this is really just the start of the relief effort. People from all over the area have pitched in. They're determined to get things back the way they were before the storm. Reporting in Bertie County, Jason Marks, 10 on your side. And the Red Cross also spent the day in Bertie County passing out supplies.